Good morning students. Today we will discuss remaining problems of exercise 6.5. On that, here we have a triangle. Two angles given, twenty five and sixty five. Find out the third angle. This is PQR. PQR. By using the angles of property, the angles of property. What is the angles of property? The sum of three angles of triangle is equal to one eighty degrees. Then angle P plus angle Q plus angle R is equal to one eighty degrees. If you add angle P value plus angle Q, how much? Twenty five degrees. Angle R sixty five degrees is equal to one eighty degrees. Then angle P should find out. Then twenty five plus sixty five is ninety degrees is equal to one eighty. Means angle P equal to one eighty degrees minus ninety degrees. Why? Because in LHS angle this is adding. If you send that sign, it means subtract angle P is equal to ninety degrees. Means angle P is the right angle. This is right angle triangle. He has given some statements. What are the, this statements are uh, true or false? We have to check. First one is PQ square is equal to PQ square is equal to PQ square plus QR square is equal to RP square. And second one PQ square plus RP square. Is equal to Q R square, and third one, third one, P R square plus Q R square, R P square plus Q R square is equal to P Q square. Now we know the angles, which angles of three values and Near P is having ninety degrees means P is the right angle value. In that P is the right angle value exactly opposite side of P is hypotenuse means the longest side is Q R. The longest side is Q R. Remaining two sides P Q and P R. Then according to the Pythagoras formula, the longest side the square of longest side is equal to the sum of squares of remaining two sides means. Q R square is equal to Q R square is equal to means out of these three, the absolute middle one Q R square is equal to P Q square plus R P square. The middle one statement is true. Remaining two are false. Okay. If you check, if you check these three statement, we compulsory we want the values. Already we have two values by using angles of property. You define. The third value, third value is ninety degrees. Ninety degrees is nothing but right angle triangle. The right angle, sorry, right angle value. The right angle value opposite side is hypotenuse. The longest side, then the longest side value Q R square is equal to the sum of remaining two sides with the squares. Okay, here first statement and second, third statement answer. R P square given. R P square means one side given. One side means one side is equal to the small side is equal to hypotenuse square plus one more side. That is wrong. The uh, same the third one also. R P square plus Q R square. R P square plus Q R square. Here are also given the hypotenuse square and the one more side of the square. One more square of side is equal to side of one more square. That is wrong. The according to Pythagoras formula, hypotenuse square we have to calculate. The problem out of three conditions, the middle one is true. Remaining two conditions are wrong. Okay, then we will check next problem. Find the perimeter of rectangle whose length forty meters and the diagonal is forty one, forty centimeter and diagonal is forty one centimeter. Actually, 
the perimeter of rectangle, what is the formula? 2 into length plus breadth. 2 into length plus breadth. But here given only length. Length is 40 centimeter. We have to find breadth value. But we have diagonal value 41 centimeter. 41 centimeter. By using this diagonal value and one side of the rectangle, if you can find, you can find the breadth value, breadth value of rectangle. Okay. Just answer this is a rectangle triangle. This is A, B, C, D. Okay. From the figure. DC or diagonal. How much? Sorry, this is AC. Diagonal AC is equal to AC how much? 41 centimeter. Okay. Length. Length BC is equal to 40 centimeter. And we have to find breadth. Breadth AB is equal to question mark. So triangle. Just consider the triangle, triangle ABC. From the triangle figure, just I'm taking triangle ABC. In the what is the Pythagoras, Pythagoras formula? AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Otherwise, we can write AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. Why? Because already we know the AC square, AC value. Then AB square how much? We have to, uh, we have to calculate. And BC square value is 40 square and AC value is 41 square. AB square is it plus 40 into 40 is 1600. 41 into 41. Just calculate 41 into 41. 1681. 1681. 1681. Okay. We want AB value. AB square is equal to 1600. From LHS to RHS is 681 minus 1600. Sorry, 1681 minus 1600 will get 81. This is AB square. But 81, how to write square form? AB square is equal to already before class we calculated 981 is equal to 9 into 9 means 9 square. Then AB is equal to 9. Centimeter. AB is equal to 9 centimeter. This is the breadth of rectangle. 9 centimeter. Now, L is equal to 40 centimeter and breadth B is equal to 9 centimeter. L is equal to 40 centimeter and breadth B is equal to 9 centimeter. What is the perimeter of perimeter of rectangle? Formula equal to 2 into L plus B. 2 into length plus breadth. 2 into L means 40 plus 9 is equal to 49. 249 is 98 centimeter. This is the perimeter of rectangle. Okay. Just if you want to, if you uh, find out the perimeter of rectangle, what is the formula? 2 into length plus breadth. But the problem we are having length only but there is no breadth. By using diagonal, take just the right angle triangle, then the diagonal is not in the, the diagonal of uh, right angle triangle is hypotenuse of rectangle, uh, hypotenuse of right angle triangle, sorry. The diagonal of rectangle is hypotenuse of right angle triangle. Then apply Pythagoras formula, we we'll get breadth value. The length and breadth by using we can find the perimeter of rectangle. Okay. The last problem is
the last problem the diagonals of a rhombus measure 16 and 30 cm find its perimeter diagonals of rhombus D1 is equal to 16 cm and D2 is equal to 30 cm. First diagram. The intersection point of two diagonals is O. Already we know in rhombus the two diagonals are perpendicularly bisector. A, B, C, D. Means the AC diagonal is 30 cm. Then this is AO is equal to 15 cm. And OC also 15 cm. Total AC is equal to 30 cm. AC is equal to 30 cm. Then half AO is equal to 15 cm. And OC is equal to 15 cm. Like that, BD is equal to 16 cm. Then BO is 8 cm. And OD is 8 cm. Okay, just I am taking one triangle, one right angle triangle from rhombus is triangle from triangle AOB, triangle AOB, then AB square is equal to AB square is equal to AO square plus OB square, AO square plus OB square. Then a o square how much is 15 cm 15 square and 8 square 15 square is 225 plus 8 square is 64 if you have total 289 then a b square is equal to 289 how to write square form then the last once value is 9 once value is 9 means if you multiply 3 with 3 or 7 with 7 we will get 9 like then 3 are uh, 13, 17 and 7. Only we calculated 13 and 13 is 169. Then 289 is 17 square. If you multiply 17 and 17, 17 we will get 289. Then two sides square cancel. Then AB is equal to 17. AB is equal to 17. Okay, then AB is nothing but one side of rhombus. Otherwise, the hypotenuse of Triangle AOB. The hypotenuse of triangle AOB is nothing but one side of rhombus. If rhombus four sides are equal, then the perimeter of rhombus equal to four into side four into seventeen is equal to sixty-eight centimeter. 68 cm. Okay, students, so once again repeat. Here, out of the two diagonals, the two diagonals are perpendicularly bisector in rhombus. Then one diagonal is 30 cm, then half of the diagonal is 15 cm. The half of the diagonal is nothing but the one side of right angle triangle. Then here, one side of right angle, one side of rhombus is act as the hypotenuse of right angle triangle and taking triangle A will be and then you can the AOB from the, the hypotenuse square is equal to the sum of squares of two sides. Then 15 square plus 8 square is if you multiply 15 into 15 to 25 plus 64 is 289. Then uh, the AB square value is 289. If you write a square form 289 is 17 square. 
then two sides square cancel. A B is equal to seventeen. A B is nothing but one side of rhombus. Then the uh, perimeter of rhombus is equal to four into side. Four seventeen is sixty eight centimeter. Okay, students. So up to these problem, to up to these are problems. We apply the Pythagoras formula. In that. Okay, just do one thing. Uh, write about Bodhayan theorem. Just compare the Pythagoras formula also. Bodhayan theorem also same. Just if you take one right angle triangle, a right angle triangle, the area of the area of longest side of triangle, the area of longest side of triangle is equal to the area of the remaining two sides. Okay. Otherwise, in right in rectangle, already we completed before problem the rectangle. Rectangle. The area of diagonal. The area of diagonal is equal to the area of length into breadth. Area of diagonal is equal to length into breadth. This is the Bodhayan theorem. This Pythagoras theorem is dependent upon the Bodhayan theorem, which is looking both are equal. Okay, just write the theorem and just prove it. Okay, students, so this is a topic completed. In that, do assessment. The remaining problems, some more problems are there in exercise. Just do assessment and upload photos in group. Okay, thank you.